You've got companies like Neo, companies like Li Shan, these Chinese NEV makers that are frankly as good if not better than Tesla right now. To put some numbers to it, in 2020 BYD sold about 400,000 cars. This year, more than 5 million. In a seismic shift that has caught the global automotive industry off guard, Tesla, the once unassailable titan of electric vehicles, has been overtaken by a company most outside China have barely heard of, BYD. This Chinese automaker, once dismissed as a budget brand, is now outselling, out-innovating, and outmaneuvering every major player in the industry. With EVs that charge in five minutes, hybrids that outperform Toyota, and batteries so safe they defy the risk of fire, BYD is rewriting the game's rules. Governments are snapping up their electric buses, cities are reshaping their infrastructure to accommodate their vehicles, and Tesla is losing ground at an alarming pace. How did this happen so quickly? Why is the world only now waking up to BYD's dominance? And what does this mean for the future of cars? This is the story of BYD's meteoric rise, a tale of quiet ambition, relentless execution, and a vision that could reshape the automotive landscape forever. BYD's ascent didn't happen overnight. It was forged in the shadows of industry giants, built on decades of discipline, innovation, and an unrelenting focus on efficiency. While Tesla grabbed headlines with its flashy launches and Elon Musk's larger-than-life persona, BYD was quietly constructing factories, perfecting its battery technology, and laying the groundwork for global domination. Founded in 1995 by Wang Chuanfu, a chemist turned entrepreneur from rural China, BYD began as a modest manufacturer of rechargeable batteries for mobile phones, nickel cadmium and lithium ion cells. It wasn't glamorous, but it was effective. BYD's early success came from its ability to produce reliable, cost effective energy storage at scale, capturing a significant share of the global battery market. The turning point came in 2003, when BYD acquired Qinchuan Automobile Company, a struggling state owned automaker. At the time, the move seemed like a curious side project, barely registering on the radar of global industry watchers. But for Wang, it was a masterstroke. With expertise in battery technology already in hand, he saw an opportunity to control the entire automotive production process, from the chemical composition of batteries to the final assembly of vehicles. This acquisition began BYD's transformation into a vertically integrated powerhouse, a strategy that would give it a decisive edge over competitors. Every EV stock for cars in America is down in Q1 of 2024. And a lot of people are sitting there talking about this company called BYD that originally started in China as a battery manufacturing company and is now an automaker designing cars, 3 million last year, where the average EV car in America is around $55,000. They have an EV you can buy for $10,000 that goes 0 to 60 in 3 seconds. And America is sitting there saying, holy, what happens if these guys come to America? Vertical integration, controlling every aspect of production from raw materials to finished products, became BYD's defining strength. Unlike Tesla, which relies on suppliers like Panasonic and CATL for batteries, or legacy automakers dependent on sprawling networks of external vendors, BYD manufactures its batteries, chips, and vehicle components. This approach minimizes delays, ensures tighter quality control, and slashes production costs. By building everything in-house, BYD created a lean, agile operation that could adapt quickly to market demands and technological shifts. The world began to take notice in 2008 when Warren Buffett, the legendary investor known for his aversion to speculative tech bets, made a surprising move through Berkshire Hathaway. He invested $230 million for a nearly 10% stake in BYD. Buffett's endorsement wasn't just a financial boost, but a signal to the world that BYD was a force to be reckoned with. His investment lent global credibility to a company previously seen as a regional player, sparking interest from markets and governments alike. With Buffett's backing, BYD accelerated its ambitions. It expanded into plug-in hybrids, fully electric vehicles, and commercial applications like electric buses, trucks, and taxis. In China, the world's largest EV market, BYD became a household name, supplying thousands of vehicles to cities racing to electrify their transportation systems. While Western automakers like GM and Ford lobbied against EV regulations, BYD delivered solutions at scale, proving that electric mobility could be practical, affordable, and widespread. 
At the heart of BYD's strategy is a simple but powerful idea, control the supply chain and you control the future. Most automakers operate like orchestras coordinating dozens of suppliers and thousands of components are always at risk of disruption. BYD, by contrast, functions like a single finely tuned instrument. Every part of its operation, batteries, chips, software, and assembly, works harmoniously, enabling unmatched speed, cost efficiency, and flexibility. This operational agility has made BYD a formidable competitor, capable of producing better batteries than Tesla, manufacturing faster than Toyota, and selling cheaper than Hyundai. In 2024, BYD achieved a milestone that sent shockwaves through the automotive world. It surpassed Tesla in revenue, posting $17 billion compared to Tesla's $97.7 billion. This wasn't just a symbolic victory, it marked the moment BYD officially dethroned Tesla as the dominant force in the EV industry. The numbers tell a staggering story. In the same year, BYD sold approximately 4.27 million vehicles worldwide, a tenfold increase from its sales in 2020. This unprecedented growth, achieved in less than five years, underscores BYD's ability to scale ruthlessly while expanding into new markets and diversifying its product lineup. China remains BYD's stronghold, the undisputed leader in the world's largest EV market. But its dominance is no longer confined to its home turf. In 2024, BYD outsold Tesla in key European markets like Italy and Spain and is rapidly closing the gap in Germany and the United Kingdom, regions long dominated by Western automakers. This is no small feat Europe's auto markets are notoriously loyal to local brands like Volkswagen, BMW, and Mercedes-Benz. Yet BYD is gaining traction at an alarming rate, signaling a shift in consumer preferences and market dynamics. What makes BYD's rise so threatening is its relentless pace of innovation. The company isn't waiting for market trends to guide its decisions, it's setting the trends. In 2024, BYD unveiled the Super E platform, a groundbreaking EV architecture that can deliver a 400 km range with just 5 minutes of charging. BYD's Thanks to platform, its 1000 combined with its proprietary high speed chargers, could this technology addresses one of the most significant barriers to EV adoption in the Tesla time. supercharger network. If which a battery can be charged as quickly as a gas tank vehicles. can be filled, the argument for Pricing sticking is with another internal combustion where BYD engines weakens is rewriting the rules. In Asia and Europe, Tesla's claim to affordable premium EVs is being challenged by BYD's lineup, which includes models like the Dolphin and Seal. These vehicles offer comparable or superior range, features, and comfort at thousands of dollars less than Tesla's Model 3 and Model Y. In markets like Spain and Italy, where affordability is a key driver, BYD's pricing strategy is proving to be a game-changer. These aren't bare-bones vehicles. They are sleek, tech-laden, and efficient, appealing to cost-conscious consumers without sacrificing quality. Its own strategic missteps compound Tesla's challenges. The company has repeatedly promised a $25,000 vehicle but has yet to deliver. While delays have plagued its Cybertruck rollout, critics argue that Tesla prioritizes spectacle over scale, a perception that contrasts sharply with BYD's methodical, results-driven approach. BYD isn't teasing concepts or making grandiose promises. It's filing production models, opening factories, and securing contracts. This consistency is winning over governments, fleets, and consumers, positioning BYD as a more reliable partner in the transition to electric mobility. The narrative that Tesla is untouchable, perpetuated by Elon Musk's cult of personality and the company's stock market hype, is beginning to fray. Industry insiders are now openly questioning Tesla's dominance, with one analyst telling Bloomberg, Tesla's era of leading the pack is over. It's now a fight to avoid falling behind. The numbers back this up. Tesla's global market share is slipping. Its revenue is lagging, and BYD delivers results quarter after quarter. While Tesla's stock remains buoyed by future expectations, BYD's focus on present-day execution reshapes the industry. At the core of BYD's dominance is a technological marvel that has redefined EV performance, safety, and cost, the blade battery. This lithium-ion phosphate, LFP, battery, developed entirely in-house, dismantles industry assumptions and gives BYD a competitive edge that rivals struggle to match. Unlike the nickel-manganese cobalt, yes, NMC, 
batteries which the most premium EVs use, LFP batteries are inherently safer, cheaper, and free of ethically problematic materials like cobalt. BYD's decision to bet on LFP chemistry while others chased higher energy density with NMC now looks like one of the smartest moves in automotive history. The blade battery's innovation lies in its structure. Instead of traditional pouch or cylindrical cells, it uses elongated, ultra-thin cells laid side by side like blades, maximizing surface area and improving thermal management. This design eliminates the risk of overheating, a critical concern in EV battery technology. The blade battery passed the industry's most grueling test, the nail penetration test, which simulates a puncture or crash impact, with flying colors. While most batteries fail this test, often catching fire or exploding, the blade battery remained stable with minimal temperature rise and no smoke or flames. This breakthrough in safety challenges competitors to rethink their approach to battery design. Beyond safety, the blade battery offers significant cost and performance advantages. By optimizing the internal layout, BYD has overcome the traditional drawback of LFP batteries, lower energy density, achieving a high range without compromising stability. The result is a longer-lasting, safer battery that costs less to produce, powering everything from compact commuter cars to luxury sedans and commercial vehicles. Its versatility allows BYD to standardize its battery platform across its entire lineup, slashing manufacturing costs and simplifying design. In China and Europe, Tesla, recognizing the advantages of LFP chemistry, has begun incorporating LFP batteries into its standard range Model 3 and Model Y vehicles. However, Tesla relies on external suppliers like CATL, while BYD's in-house production gives it complete control over the battery, vehicle, and software integration. This vertical integration optimizes charging curves, power output, and energy efficiency, resulting in a seamless, high-performance system. The Blade battery also boasts exceptional longevity, retaining over 80% capacity after 3,000 charge-discharge cycles, compared to the 1,000 cycles typical of most EV batteries. This translates to lower maintenance costs and a longer vehicle lifespan for fleets and governments, making BYD's offerings irresistibly attractive. The Blade battery's impact extends beyond individual vehicles. Reducing reliance on costly and unstable raw materials lowers the barriers to EV adoption. Its fast charging capabilities and long lifespan address infrastructure challenges, while its affordability makes EVs accessible to a broader market. Governments electrifying public transit systems benefit from the battery's safety and durability, while consumers enjoy lower ownership costs and peace of mind. The Blade battery isn't just a component. It's a self-contained ecosystem that accelerates the global shift to electric mobility. While BYD's EVs have garnered much of the spotlight, its Super DM dual-mode hybrid system is quietly revolutionizing the industry by offering a compelling alternative to traditional gasoline and fully electric cars. In a world where charging infrastructure remains uneven and consumer preferences vary, BYD's hybrids bridge the gap, delivering the benefits of electric driving with the flexibility of fuel. This strategic focus on hybrids is proving to be a master stroke, challenging EV purists and legacy automakers. Unlike conventional hybrids, which rely heavily on internal combustion engines with battery assistance, BYD's Super DM system prioritizes electric power, using fuel only when necessary. This electric first design delivers seamless torque, instant responsiveness, and exceptional fuel efficiency. The Song Plus DMI, one of BYD's flagship plug-in hybrid SUVs, achieves fuel consumption in markets as low like as Latin America, 100 South East Asia, Asia, and rural parts of Europe and the US, SUV, where full electrification its is still a leading, leading thermal goal. efficiency of 43.4% surpasses even Toyota's models like the best DMI and DMP series are not more usable products. power from they every are core drop components of, of BYD's global BYD's strategy, BYD's hybrids selling are not a compromise, but a strategic advantage. Ford. And they appeal to consumers who want the, the commercial and quiet experience of an EV but need plug -in the reassurance of gasoline for extended trips or areas taxi with services, limited charging delivery companies, and municipal fleets benefit from low emissions in urban areas and backup fuel range for longer routes. In China, entire city taxi fleets have transitioned to BYD hybrids, driven by lower total ownership costs than gas-powered or fully electric alternatives. This trend is spreading globally, with governments and private operators increasingly turning to BYD for transportation. BYD's hybrid strategy is a direct challenge to Toyota, 
the longtime leader in hybrid technology. For decades, Toyota's Prius and other models set the standard for reliability and fuel economy. But BYD's DMI series surpasses them in efficiency, performance, and technology. By controlling every aspect of the hybrid system, battery, software, engine, and drivetrain, BYD achieves real-time optimization that delivers a seamless driving experience. This level of integration, made possible by vertical integration, is something Toyota and other competitors struggle to replicate. Tesla's refusal to enter the hybrid market may prove to be a costly oversight. Elon Musk has long dismissed hybrids as transitional technology, betting entirely on full electrification. But this assumes a uniform global transition to EVs, ignoring that many markets and consumers are not yet ready to abandon fuel entirely. BYD's pragmatic approach, offering high-performance hybrids alongside its EVs, positions it to capture a broader customer base, from early adopters to cautious buyers. BYD's ambitions extend far beyond building better cars. Its goal is to dominate the global market by embedding itself in the infrastructure, politics, and economies of countries worldwide. While competitors focus on tech specs like range and acceleration, BYD plays a larger game, treating geography as its battlefield and supply chains as its weapons. The company's master plan involves scaling production, securing government contracts, and adapting to local markets with surgical precision. In 2025, BYD aims to achieve over 800,000 overseas sales, a staggering target for a company that only recently began exporting. Rather than relying solely on shipments, BYD is building local production facilities to establish a direct presence in key markets. In California, its Lancaster facility produces electric buses and trucks for city transit authorities, schools, and airports, ingratiating the brand with public institutions and normalizing its presence in the U.S. By winning over governments first, BYD is paving the way for broader market entry as infrastructure and regulations adapt to its vehicles. In Brazil, BYD's attempt to establish a production facility in Kamakari was disrupted by a labor controversy involving poor working conditions for Chinese laborers. The company swiftly cancelled the contract and postponed production, demonstrating its ability to navigate setbacks while maintaining its aggressive expansion. In Mexico, BYD is exploring a facility to leverage the U.S. Mexico Canada Agreement, USMCA, allowing it to build vehicles for the U.S. market without facing import tariffs. This strategic workaround could give BYD a foothold in North America, challenging American automakers on their home turf. BYD's global strategy is not just about selling cars, it's about reshaping the automotive ecosystem. Supplying electric buses and taxis to cities influences urban planning and infrastructure development. Building local factories creates jobs and mitigates trade barriers. Offering affordable, high-performance vehicles captures consumer loyalty in diverse markets. This multifaceted approach makes BYD a uniquely formidable competitor, one that is not just coming for customers, but for entire systems of transportation and governance. BYD's rise is more than a corporate success story. It's a paradigm shift that challenges the assumptions of the global automotive industry. It's a wake-up call for Tesla to address pricing, supply chain vulnerabilities, and the hybrid market. For legacy automakers like Toyota, Ford, and Volkswagen, it's a warning that 